All right, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Elverse Recap. If you still don't know what I do here, what the heck are you doing? Anyway, in today's episode, I'm going to be recapping Batwoman, Supergirl, and The Flash, episode 5, and Arrow, episode 4. So, let's get down into it, shall we? Okay. So, okay, uh, um, I saw from somewhere that the, this episode of Batwoman is actually all caught up to the Elseworlds crossover from last year. And so, yeah. Episode 5 of Supergirl, or Batwoman, is, mine is a long, mine is a long and sad tale. So, uh, the episode starts off as Alice taking some leg skin. And then Skin Pirate it is Alice, and it's uh, it's because the, it's called Skin Pirate because it takes skin from the booty. But I don't think they stole it from the booty. I thought it was legs, but whatever. Um, Alice, no, okay. Oh uh, yeah. So Alice finds the tracker that Batwoman put into her last week. Um, and then so. She so Batwoman gets a bat staff and white eyes. So for some reason, she was like, "I'm gonna go attack him right now." So in the dark. So I need some bat goggles. And he was like, "Oh, Batman doesn't do goggles," and then gave him her white eyes. Um. Then she's questioning Alice about Mouse. Uh. Uh, Mouse, uh, is his father, found Beth after the crash. Sister road trip. Um, and then, Kath then Catherine tells Mary about the bones. And then Beth flashbacks, and she's worried for her life. And the threat of this episode is Alice Mouse missions. Uh, let, uh, Luke and Mary is find the lead on skin. Uh, Kate understand Alice and Jackson and Sophie is to find Kate. Um, then they have a they have a dinner talk. Flashback. Uh, Mouse can mimic any voice he hears. Uh, he covers his face to hide what happened in uh, experiment accident. I don't know. Doesn't want, uh, the dude doesn't want Beth to leave. We don't, we never know who the father's name, what the father's name is. Mary comes to talk to Kate. But she's not there because she's with Alice. And so Luke is there and Luke is like, okay, you can stay here. Or tell me all about it. And I'll tell Alice, tell Kate. Uh, Jacob and Sophie on the Kate, on the chase. Uh. Uh, she's not a prisoner. She was a she was a friend. Uh, uh, Alice, uh, Kate, uh, drugged. Uh, Alice drugged Kate. Uh, Mary talks with Luke about a lot of things. Uh, Beth tried to call. She did call, but then the line was cut and was like, she said, "Daddy, Daddy, come for me. I'm scared." And yeah. Uh. Um, uh, uh, the, the father uses Mouse as an excuse of being Beth. Uh, Kate went downstairs and was like, Beth, is that you? And, uh, and he was like, if you talk to him, I'll kill him. Uh, they went, uh, Alice uh, brought Kate to the house that was in the story. Uh, Jacob realizes where he was, where he is, because he went there in the past. Also, um, Mary and Luke are on the case of skin the skin. Um, uh, Jonathan, which his name is Mouse, is also stole the skin. So that's when they what they figured out, what Luke and Mary figured out. Beth and Jack, Jacob, Jacob talk. Uh, 
Uh, Beth stabbed Jake. Mouse versus Sophie. Uh, Sophie. Ch uh. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, and but then, then, then they. Uh, but then Kate uses Mouse as a thing to stop Alice from killing. Yeah. Uh, Jacob. Uh, Ma Mouse gave her Alice in Wonderland. And then they had like a little best friend thing. Mouse gave Alice an Alice in Wonderland book. And. Jack and Alice gave her him a mask. So, is there anything that I last I need to say? Nope. Okay. Uh, so the quote from this episode was only one quote that I thought was cool, and then Luke saying, "Bat Batman doesn't do goggles." All right, now on to Supergirl episode five, otherwise entitled "Dangerous Linusons." Linusons? I don't know. Um, Obsidian North commercial for them to come to the until they announce stuff. Um, Fifty nine hours until then. Uh, Kara is hiding truth about William from Mia and. Mia, just from Nia, not Mia, Nia. Mm. Uh, Kelly is getting a present for Alex. Uh, Kara's with William. Kara's meeting with William. Um, about the whole Adna, or Adna, or I don't know. Um, Kara insists on helping. Um, experimenting on Malphic, and, Ma and it goes wrong. Because they're about to zap into his mind, and he's like, you can't get into my mind. And then they make a whole, uh, then they put the, they put the truth seeker on the airbender for her to talk. Oh, yeah. And, well, uh, um, Kara helps, uh, uh, the DEO help William and Kara. Um, and then they put the truth seeker on the airbender, and he, what she says that there is a person with killer tattoos, and then there's a guy that can lose all the limbs, and then there's a girl, there's a guy with four arms, and then that guy with four arms, his name is Rip Roar, and Rip Roar also killed uh, William's friend. And Rip Roar steals a weapon from the... A place where Lex's weapons were, and he steals a weapon that uh, can target someone from 26.2 miles away. Um, Car and John talk about uh, Malefic, and yeah, uh, Lena and Malefic talk about betrayal and revenge. Um, uh, remove barrier or give his mind. Okay, so they uh, you can't for Martians you can't kill you can't kill your brother. So he was like, if you can remove that barrier, then I'll give you my mind. And yeah, uh, so the so Brainy gets the spider person on them so they could actually see what their plan was, and the spider person doesn't care who that. Uh, Kara wants to confront and Andrea. Uh, Rip, Rip with Leviathan Lady. Rip Roar is with Leviathan Lady. Kelly and Alex is date. William and Kara are looking for clues in Adna's uh, office. William flashbacks with his friend. Uh, Laser plus liquefier equals 100% hotter than sun. Uh, rip, uh, Supergirl be Rip Roar and Rip Roar shot Kara. William's friend is alive. And they, they found that they found out. Uh, Kelly tries to call Alec. Uh, okay, so at this point they were all in that virtual reality world and everything was going on. Uh, a brain test on Malfic, uh, Dreamer. Okay, so Rip Roar shot, went on Antarctica to make the, to flood the world. 
uh, the, there was a wave, Dream stopped the wave, uh, while Supergirl and Mara John were trying to stop it by going and to try making a whirl whirlpool and pushing down, whatever. So, yeah. William confirms that, no. What? No. Kara was like, no, you can't conf 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 confront her. But then Kara, and then he does, and then it was in the VR world. Um, Alright, so last thing is that Kelly is caring a lot for Alex. Um, Rip is friend, the friend of William. Uh, date, date anniversary with Alex and Kelly. And then Lena controls and Malefic at the end. So, the threat of this episode was Rip Roar. Uh, William and Kara was confront Adna and Lena's was to work on a malefic. And the quote is Kara saying, I'm in, I'm in it for the justice, because Justice League. All right, next we have episode five of The Flash. Otherwise, wow, this is only a, whoa, I'm going too quick. This is episode five of Flash called Kiss Kiss Breach Breach. So Cisco is getting getting cut at the, at the start of the episode, but then we go to twelve hours earlier, where it's with Barry and Iris getting ready for vacation. Um, Ramsey has been off the grid for two weeks, so we have a little jump gap of two weeks. Um, and then uh, uh, Cisco has made the Barry, which is called Barry Allen re replace replacing. Intelligence. Replicated intelligence. And then they play with the berry like, what's your favorite movie? What's your favorite color? Yeah. Uh, Frost and Ralph on the stakeout. And Joe followed Nash. But then they got into a little cause hokey. And then they blast it. They blast the wall and it crushes them in. Uh, Cisco... His Cisco has been sleepwalking, and then Breacher brings, and then Breacher comes with some bad news. And that bad news is that Gypsy is dead, and was killed by Echo, which she has been chasing for years. Uh, uh, <coughs> and he's not sleepwalking, it's Breach Psychosis. Um, oh yeah, this all happened on Earth 1. So, Gypsy was fighting Echo, she was dying, breached him to Earth-1, and now the killer is on Earth-1. Uh, Cisco goes to the scene with Camilla. Uh, John and Nash talk, uh, uh, and loss, um, <laughs> on, uh, they have a loss of oxygen. Uh, Frost goes alone and Norvok is there and he's like, Norvok, what you got? Norvok's got this guy. Um, yeah. A dead guy. And find who has faith in Ramsey. Ramsey has faith in Caitlyn. And so that's what they go. Frost turns into Caitlyn and goes talks to him. Talks to him. Zach Zeal is the leader of the investigation. Uh, Cisco and Camilla talk about Gypsy. Uh, Zach's Zach is a love blocked on Cisco because he, every time Cisco is about to say "I love you," he's all like, "I lie, hi, how are you?" and just comes in saying another L word. Uh, find Faith uh, to get out with Willi with Wells and John. Um, Vibing death of Gypsy, and then they see it as Cisco, and so they think that it's a breach psychosis. But Breacher is like, "You killed my daughter." She sing, and those are almost trying to kill him. Uh, yeah, Breacher mad. Uh, and hour to pack his things, or he's dead. Uh, Ralph saves Nash and John. Cisco, Cisco. Uh, so, so. Cisco figures out that it's the Earth 19 Cisco, and the weapon that he used was on. He planted the evidence on or in Cisco's lab. Uh, so Cisco made them all go there. He made a whole recording thing, and he was like, 
<laughs> Toodles. Sing. Woo! And then they, and then Echo and Cisco have a really cool fight scene. Uh, Caitlin talks to Ramsey. Um. Um. Yeah, uh, and then he, and then Echo gets the gun, shoots it, and then it traps him, and so, um, Chester's almost good. And then the last thing is Nash knows how to save Barry. Alright, uh, the threat of this episode is Echo, uh, Cisco's mission is to find the killer, um, uh, Killer Frost and Ralph is flying Ramsey. And Nash and John is fine, Faith. And then the quote is Norvok saying to about Ramsey, that guy's next level creepy. Now, on to Arrow, episode four, present tense. So, saying hello to the future team. Uh, everyone is saying Mia. William, hug Mia, Dad, and then that Connor's like, Dad, and he's like, Who are you? I'm Connor. You adopted me. No, I didn't. Not yet. And then they're like, Then the future team realizes that they're in the past. What year is this? From 19. What year is it supposed to be? 2040. Boom. Oliver tells Renee and Dinah about the whole crisis thing. Um. A uh, rough relationship, Oliver has a no, everyone has a rough, rough relationship with the kids, um, future team, uh, not telling the future, not saying what happens, uh, future talk with Oliver, uh, William and him have a future talk, William and Oliver have a future talk, new, a new death stroke attacks, uh, and they've lied about the future, Oliver wanted, Oliver wanted to call Felicity, but William tells Oliver to think. But William tells him not to, and then he also then he also comes out. But then Oliver and Felicity already knew that. Uh, and then Curtis is back for this episode. Uh, Curtis is analyzing fabric from Earth Two, so they can figure out <coughs> what that type of fabric is, so they can defeat the God. Um. Um, Connor is with Diggle, and then JJ is back also. Not, it's Grant, but the future team th thought it was JJ, and so they were like, JJ, JJ, JJ. And Grant's like, who the frick is JJ? And then Connor messed up by saying Connor, or JJ, and then, uh, and he's like, why, how come you were calling Grant JJ? And then the future team tells the team everything. Uh, Grant targets the rich because Grant would train JJ to be the next Deathstroke. Uh, Mia and Ollie talk. Laurel goes with Mia to the hospital scene. D and D talk. D and D. Who the frick is D and D? Oh, Diggle and Diane, Dinah talk. Uh, Grant is in jail. If when Grant goes to jail, he always escapes, so there's no way to get him out. All, Oliver apologizes to him that he wasn't there for him. A uh, stroke, death stroke is in SCP. -P. Uh, well, no, he's like in got in a Gotham police. No, he there's a stroke in the SCPD, and then there's bombed and what okay, yeah. Uh, Mia versus Grant. Oh yeah, Mia also wanted to kill Grant. Oliver stops Mia from killing uh, Grant. Uh, hope for change. That all they have to do is hope for change. And John calls Connor's son. And then Renee has a rally for being mayor. And then Mia and Robert. Mia at Robert's grave. Now the last thing is Oliver goes to Oliver is going to Russia because there's a because there's a certain thing that they need that's in Russia so there's like a season and flashbacks whatever season they when he was in Russia that entire time season five was it or season four that he was in Russia the entire time um, and then 
Uh, the monitor appears to Laurel and, and he says, to get your Earth back, you have to betray Oliver. And so, yeah. The threat is the new Deathstroke. Uh, everyone, everyone's mission is to stop Grant and the future team's mission is to connect with the past people. Now, the quote is from Diggle saying, how do we stop a god? So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Hope you guys liked this episode. If you guys did, please leave a big like down below. And if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Next week, it's only two episodes, two, two things. It's only Batwoman and Supergirl because Arrow and Flash are not going to be on. So, yeah. That's yeah, going to be a super short video. But anyway. You guys go bye-bye.